As a kid, all I could think about was getting out and running around. Heard my teachers and my bosses making offers to tie me down. But the poets and the misfits, the lost and profound, were talking like the world's a big old tangle of souls. So I set out for the shimmering distance, not dressed for the wind and rain. Unaware that any blessing worth having comes with a burden of pain. And all the love and all the hurt, the sacred and profane, are bundled together in the bittersweet tangle of souls. Through deserts and dirty streets, I struggled to hear a kindred heart in the chorus of concrete. But by happenstance, I chanced upon the ones I needed to meet. Such a rare thread in this vast tangle of souls. Tangle of souls. It's a fleeting incarnation. It's a gift that you can't keep. Stardust with a will to live is all there is to me. Every atom's borrowed and every heart's a refugee. Just looking for home in this strange tangle of souls. A clockwork running down. Some talk like it's a tournament where the coolest gets the crown. Seems to me it's a pilgrimage, and every step is hallowed ground. A walk through fire and a holy tangle of souls. My brain boggles at the distance that brought this song to you.
Hey, yo! <laughs> Hope this is working. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. <laughs> Hello from the future. <laughs> so cool to see so many friends pop up here. Hey, Tracy and Josh. Great to see you. <laughs> Look, there's Cheryl. We, we've been sitting here just... Laura was standing here, just delighting over all of your names coming up. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, and it's working. Okay. That's good. That's good to have confirmation of that. <laughs> We've got some amazing guests that are going to be joining oh, us man. today. Let us know if, when, when we play this next song, uh, if there's any kind of sound issues. You're, you're, y'all are our uh, sound techs. Oh, I'm just being distracted by Kieran Field's name on the thing. Hi, Kieran. <laughs> so good to see you this weekend. What do you Hi. mean, Chez? I was driving good. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the roundabouts, not so much. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. We're at our dear friends Dave and Ray's place in Candelo, New South Wales. It's, I wonder if you uh, can just like do. A, can you do? A yeah, show like this? sure. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. Look, here's what it looks like outside. Yeah. This is the reset here. yeah. Oh, we're turning it. Whoa! Look at there's some special guests getting ready. <laughs> Sneak peek. Whoa, sneak peek. Wow. Um, I have so many dear friends in this town, and uh, a few of them have been kind enough to, to join us to, to sing with, with songs and, uh, and poem this morning. So, uh, yeah. Yes, we'll you, just... you are a wealthy man when it comes to friendships and, and love and it's connection. the only true wealth. That's, that's the thing. All right, so we'll just start it off with a song. One, two, you know what to do. What? Honey, what's this love struck fool to do? This life is short and so are you. I think we're the same height. You're taller. You got a way that I admire Headstrong and prairie as a pilot fire There's so much shifty in this world I want to be steady for you, girl So long running around looking for care This road dog's learning new tricks And you've had love you couldn't be sure of I got the kind of love will blow your doors off There's so much shifty in this world I want to be steady for you, girl Oh, test it, you won't break it I'll take you any way you are All the way, twice that far Used to let my whim blow me around Seen enough to know just what I found My bags are packed if you want a driver Honey, I didn't come to kick the tires There's so much shifty in this world I want to be steady for you, girl There's so much shifty in this world I want to be steady for you I want to be steady for you I want to be steady for you Aww. Yeah <laughs> Oh! Look, it's the sound of applause. Oh, wow. We missed that in the online shows. 
<laughs> I also want to be the one that tells you you have peanut butter on your face. Really? Just a little bit right Where? there. Where? Right there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I probably do too. Let's that's, see. That's Look good. at the mirror right We here. didn't have to wait for these people to tell us that <laughs> yeah. I have peanut butter on my face. Oh, there's Clark. There's Beth Ann. Yeah, here's like. There's Michelle Dettinger. What? Look at that. Laura Frawley. Hi. <laughs> there's D. Laura Frawley with the update that it is indeed snowing and blowing in Michigan. Ooh, wow. There's Fullis calling in from Ithaca, I Ithaca, New York Ithaca, in the house. It looks good down here. I, I see that. Hey, Rick. Hey, Kirby. Oh, Clark, you got away. We admire, buddy. Uh, we love you. Hi, Clark <laughs> and Rebecca. Uh, thanks for tuning in, Kirby. Wow. Dan, man, this is just like a big old family reunion here. Clark asks if that's a different base. Indeed, it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the uh, the connections and friendships that Scott has. Friends are the able, true love. Oh, yeah, that really is where it's at. He was able to find uh, one that we could rent from Paul Laszlo in yeah, Sydney. Yeah, a so, luthier yeah. In, in in the Blue Mountains. And it's a half size, so that's that's the right size for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so we've just finished the National Folk Festival um, in in uh, Canberra. Uh, we were five days there, and we've come out here to Candelo. Um, we're resuming the tour. We're like on the home stretch here, which is kind of hard to believe, but true. Um, this this uh, this this old tour graphic. Yeah, we're past halfway on this thing. In fact, we're just right down to that. Oh, look at look at what you did there. Look at that. Good job, yeah. There we are, Candelo, third of okay. April. We're playing here tonight. It was sold out, but we've moved into a bigger space, and more tickets have just been released. Um, if you want to join us, uh, if you can't make it to this, and you're in the neighborhood, tomorrow will be in Nethercote. Do you call it Nethercote or Nethercote? I say Nethercote. Okay, I want to go with you then. I heard a couple of people last weekend call, saying nether coat, and I started to become confused. <laughs> They're posh. They're posh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I want to say it like the people say it, you know? <laughs> and then we're just working our way up the coast there. As you can see, There's the, those are all them. The dates are, of course, also on scottcook.net. We'll be all up as far as, as Bundaberg, and then mm. before we work our way back down. So super excited to show Pamela some more of this beautiful country. Yeah, I could happily just stay right here. <laughs> Literally, like right, right here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and the town is so charming. So and, charming. And uh, what what are the bats of Candelo? There is like flying the... foxes. Flying foxes. Oh my gosh! When we pulled in and and drove by and what saw saw Ray at the general store and then we hear all this chattering in the trees and look up and they're they're massive and uh yeah okay and they were grumpy wow. with one another i think yeah it their leather like. coats were just like get over get over <laughs> 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 so um we want to we want to bring invite the woman of the house here <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. There's Rochelle Kennedy. Um, did you know that Leslie's on here? Well, I just heard that yeah. Leslie and Lenny are uh, there. So yeah. that's pretty fun to have my buddies from the other side of the world. <laughs> Welcome to my house. <laughs> Thank Actually, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, how long have you been living here? Um, hmm. we bought the land back in 2012 and it was just like an empty acre of weeds. Yeah. And then mostly Dave, but I'll say we have been, uh, building this place bit by bit since then. So for me, like coming from Canada, I was, I probably spent most of that time like back and forth. So first it would be like, I'd come to Candelo for a month go back to Canada, keep working, come to Canada for three months, go back to Canada, keep working. Then I did six months and six months. We just lived in caravans here, lived in caravans in Canada. And I have been living here full time for five years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We, it, it, all, all the forces were aligned so perfectly that we just ran into Ray in town yesterday. <laughs> like, That's how it works. Just as we were on our way out of town. <laughs> yeah, it was perfect.
<laughs> yeah, for a while here, like you guys were building and you were living in the caravan. Uh, if yeah, we for lived in a caravan. That, right? We lived in like what is now our bathhouse. I mean, uh, you are um, woven into this structure. I don't know if you remember, but you helped put in that window <laughs> up there. <And> I remember. <laughs> it's like, oh, Scott's coming to town. Let's get him to help. It was <laughs> fun. It was really fun. And I we remember. Photo do- I, photo of it. I think Dave said it'll be a twenty-minute job. <laughs> That's then, what he said about this entire house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For how long that twenty-minute and it's grew to two hours he said it was pretty much analogous yeah. for the yeah. whole yeah. the whole process yeah. at some point you just accept that time doesn't actually matter and you're just <laughs> in the story and it's unfolding <laughs> and you're not leaving well it's a beautiful work of art Thanks, and it's, uh, yeah it's it's great to be in it <laughs> would you favor us with a poem sure okay <laughs> um I'm going to read a poem that's called The Space Between Everything. And um, where we sit, so Candle is a little bit inland, but we uh, rub shoulders with, I think, one of the most beautiful stretches of coast in the world. And this piece I wrote um, a couple of years ago, and it follows the coast. So it follows the coast along a series of old wooden bridges um, that run through not even towns, just like little pockets of beauty all along the coast where you cross little rivers and creeks. Um, So this poem comes in four parts, and I'm just going to read it like one, but um, if you want, wherever you're sitting, you could close your eyes um, and maybe just take this journey with me as I travel us along the coast of where we live. The space between everything. There is a bend in the road where the she-oak grows, and the lake edge is a clay bed, a vessel of stories. Begin here, here on the thin stretch of line that ties water's edge to forest floor, under the protective wing of Umbara and Mother Mountain's watchful eye. Lapping waves to crashing sea, sand dune clouds sprawl endlessly. Salt water and shorelines, stacked up layers of sedimentary rock, country showing us her skeleton, the weight of time. Tree branches rolling over hillsides like incoming tides. Old spines bending, curving, limbs cascading, a dance of frenzied brackish green. And then, suddenly, a shift in the horizon. Vastness into subtlety, sand and bush to grassy plains. The sound, a quiet warbling. Air thick with eucalypt leaf lungs breathing in the scent of trees, the boundaries between things grow blurry. Roots maneuver rocks, become grass, disappear under sand, under soil. Creek bed rambles free of discernible edges. The water a mirror so full of sky, every ripple cradles both sun and clouds within it. A towering monkey gum rises where the bridge meets the road. A swoop of metal planted in a field stands tall and juxtaposed. Two old windmills perch in lush paddocks, like memories, reminders. This stretch, this river, this line, this undulating countryside, all heights and valleys, bush and estuarine, Bellbirds, wooden planks, wind in trees. The space between everything is singing. Wow, beautiful, Ray. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening. <sighs> Thanks for asking us to close our eyes. Yeah. Yeah. That helps. <laughs> it does yeah. help. It does help. It helps us to drop in. Yeah. 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 Thank cool. you. Yeah. All right.
Can I invite Robin Martin to the hot seat? <laughs> this is so cool. So there was a there was a time back in the pandemic times that y'all had a little podcast you were doing. Yeah, the Candelo Road Show radio, radio, radio hour. hour. Candelo Road Show radio hour. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Which has heaps of Ray Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your con so your your your, your poetry is like the thread kind mm -hmm. of through it um and uh and song and interviews with local legends and yeah it's really it's beautiful that including eric from the um local service from the servo <laughs> that's the cutest service station isn't it i love how it's just like <laughs> the pumps are just right like yeah. where where you would the parking yeah. is like at the pumps like the sidewalk <laughs> it's so cute and you could drive up and inside to be serviced you know and yeah, yeah. tires changed they yeah had, like plants and Thai curry and <laughs> antiques and a, and a resident dog who just yeah, yeah just kind of walks is. down the street to one end and the other just checking it out <laughs> so beautiful um that show is still online uh on all the all the pod cast places uh the Candelo Roadshow radio hour well worth checking out it was a uh, it was a uh, it was a, a beacon for me during the, during the, those strange days. Um, it was great to hear from you all then. So this is Robin Martin, one of many Martins in the town of Candelo, and uh, not related to them. No. Well, only by love. By love, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, yes, my husband Sam Martin was Sam Martin before he took on my last name when they got married. <laughs> that was nice of him to... Yeah. 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 Um, They're forward thinking. <laughs> Robin was uh, playing at the National Folk Fest as well last weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just on fire. It was so thrilling to see you doing that again. I hadn't seen your band in a while. They go all right. Don't Killer they? band. Yeah. Killer band. David Ross McDonald. Yeah. He's, he's here. You'll get to hear some of his songs too. So. Yeah. Um, uh, Robin and I have played together a fair bit um, uh, with her on, on bass and, and harmony vocals. And uh, the first time we played together was here in Candelo at the Village Hall. It was too. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Heath Cullen, uh, another local legend, was like, you know, it was was kind of coordinating that or whatever he had learned the parts we met up behind the hall to just run over the tunes <laughs> yeah. and i had no idea you were gonna sing oh yeah you know right. yeah i was just like <laughs> just, hoping so, you knew the tunes and then it was like oh three-part <laughs> harmony and I'm like what <laughs> so yeah wow such, yeah. such a treat to sing your songs God. oh such a such a treat to hear you killing it this past weekend why don't you favor us with one now? All right. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm going to sing a, um, a love song that I wrote. It's called Love Is Gonna Change Me. I never meant to break your heart, but I break it over and over. There are times when I wanted to leave, but I'm glad I still have your shoulder to cry on. You were brave enough to stand by me when I was blinded and angry. They say love can make the blind man see, I know it's true. It happened to me, you make me like water, you make me like clay. Love will always change me, you make me like sunshine, shine like day, like the desert after rain. Love is gonna make me change. Little one, where has our day gone? From the first bird singing to the lullaby song. You close your eyes and I whisper sorry For all I've done for want of better knowing And all around this world's going crazy And I've been feeling a little low lately But I can
can find some hope to hold on to any time that I look at you you make me like water you make me like clay love will always change me you make me like sunshine shine like day like the desert after rain love is gonna make me change So shiny in me, but maybe love doesn't always feel right. Maybe kindness is not always nice. I just pray that you pull me through till the heart of me is the heart of you. It does that, doesn't it? Love. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Mm. It's so, so amazing and sometimes very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, Y'all have been out in Seduna, like working yeah. on your folks' farm for yes. a while. So my, um, my dear Sam Martin bravely mm -hmm. trekked halfway across the country and spent his year working on the farm with me and um, helping my parents. It was their last year mm. um, running the farm on their own, their share farming this year. <coughs> but, um, yeah, we were driving tractors and <laughs> chasing sheep and breaking things and <laughs> <laughs> fixing things. <laughs> the pictures you sent me of just like the the red dirt and you're on the tractor and just, the, wow, it just looked so... Uh, Look like a like a, a harsh landscape actually. Yeah, like, yeah, sun baked and it's wild. Yeah, yeah. It's the desert. They're trying to grow stuff in the desert. Wow. it's amazing. Yeah, and they do. They and they've converted it to um, biodynamics in the last five years. Wow, as you do when you're kind of seventy. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. no chemicals are out there. Yeah. hand picking weeds on four and a half thousand acres. Yeah, of wow. farm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Fun times. Fun times. You know that Rudolf Steiner is like a really quirky dude, but um, he he sure gave the world a lot. Like, yeah. 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 He just dreamed it up. Didn't he? Like, <laughs> at this point in the moon, you're gonna go and bury them in you are in a cow horn, and then you like you basically make it homeopathic. Yeah. Food. Yeah. It's a bit like that, it's, isn't it? We it's um. Out there, but the soil it helps the soil it's good we played a house concert on this tour in yarra junction earlier by the way i must say we've been taken care of so abundantly and generously by all our hosts so far and particularly the folks who let us play in their homes including this home we're playing in right now <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah this one in yarra junction they had it, the audience was about half kids and they're all steiner kids and like like there's just not a brighter eyed crop of kids you know mm -hmm. like they all look you in the eye and 
and uh, have interesting things to say and, you know, are just really present there yeah, in the wow. moment. We didn't see a phone in any of the kids' hands the whole time. You how know? good's that? Yeah, how yeah. good's that, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Robin Martin. Thanks so much. Um, Robin Martin Music. Dot com, dot com and at Robin Martin Music and yeah. Robin Martin Music dot com places. at Robin Music Martin Music on all the places. You know what? I should I should just write that because because um because it's got a Y. It's got a Y. Yeah, there we go. Robin Martin Music dot com. Look at that. You're on we a banner now. A, we all need a good Y. There in we our go. Lives, don't we? <laughs> I have so many whys. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Robin. Yeah. Also, I got to say, R R Ray, who we just heard from, this is her book. It just came out. It's called I Read Your Poems Out Loud. She co -write, wrote it with her dad. And I'm now the proud owner of a new copy. These are limited edition, right? They sure are. Like, almost gone. They're almost gone. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. They find you at the wolf inside that girl. Is that how to? Rochelle Kennedy. Rochelle Kennedy. Okay. Again, cool spelling. Right? We... <laughs> Here we are. There's a banner. <laughs> Rochelle Kennedy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wow. We got another special guest the man of the house. <laughs> the Lord of the Manor. The manna to the manna born. Well, this Jeez. is the Dave and Dave and Ray's place. What you see right here? Whoa, there we go. Whoa. That's a really big finger. That is. You gotta, yeah. do, you gotta look that. That's a good thing. It's yeah. like clean under my fingernail there. That's good. <laughs> um, while we're before we do anything, while I got these banners up here, that's where the tip jar is. And uh, if you are uh, if you are able and and so moved, um, feel free feel free to jingle that baby and we'll just spread it around to these Australians, these needy, needy Australians. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dave, man. So good to see you back. Yeah. We could finish that window. Yeah, whatever you want, man. <laughs> I'm all yours for today. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've known Dave for a long time. Uh, back in the day, uh, Edmonton was mm -hmm. lucky enough to have him. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging out of the black dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, late mm -hmm. with the black dog, playing darts, poorly. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you live there? Was it like two or three couple years? years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Dave uh, is uh, better known to many uh, Australians as the drummer for a band called The Waves. But over in Canada, he's famous for uh, his beautiful fingerstyle guitar compositions. And uh, yeah, kind of spent a lot of time on the Canadian festival circuit. Mm -hmm. Um, melting hearts with his uh, with his songs and uh, yeah, um, you've been living back here now for for a while now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The first time I came back, or uh, that I first time I came here, um, the fir the very first festival I got wasn't far from here. I think called Cobargo Folk Fest, mm. and uh, when I, when it was offered that they could sneak me onto the program at the last minute, yeah. uh, thanks to my friend Enda Kenny uh, calling somebody up, um, calling up the artistic director, I didn't know if it was worth doing, and I I wrote to you and said like, is that should I should I go there? Is it is it worth going to? And you were like, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> yeah and uh that yeah. was really the fest that that changed everything for yeah. me here yeah it's the reason i've been coming back so readily yeah that's right yeah. you landed the dart right down this bottom right hand corner <laughs> of the country <laughs> much loved scott uh, around here yeah it's fantastic Dave is now the uh, 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 the uh, president of the Candelo art society who's putting on tonight's show um in the uh in the town hall yeah. supper room yeah, we had to move it. Ticket sales. So yeah. thanks, man. Well done. <laughs> well Selling done. out wherever he goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to play us a song and then maybe we'll chat a bit more? Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, thanks for asking me to play. Oh, buddy. When you asked me to play, I said no. And because <laughs> I've just been, um, I kind of took, well, I suppose it almost 10 years off the solo project to build the place because I just had to um, make a choice between making a bit of money touring with the with the waves and then in between times 
uh, spending that money building a house. So uh, mm -hmm. um, the solo project is on the back burner, but um, I'm really grateful to get a chance to, to play and say hi to you all out there. So um, here's a little tune about seizing the day. take this from here between the half we know and fear I know you're restless I'm telling you I'm tired either way run out of time I thought we'd have time for it all But now your bedside I'm in an airport lounge And either way But one way bound Locks against the walls, you can let them all run wine. Either way, one at a time. Never saw it coming, or how it got away. Hiding in the darkness and leaving me plain as day. Beautiful. That's a beautiful reminder. Man. Yeah, that those are, uh, you know, the the as I as I get older, I I think a lot about about the finitude <laughs> of time. And uh, you know, last last summer, a friend said to me, uh, "You can do everything. You can do anything." He said. But you can't do everything, mm. you know, and that really like crystallized it for me, um, just in terms of the things that one commits one's time to. Mm -hmm. um, I, I started trying to like make make a daily practice of a lot of things in 2020, and uh, that was the first time I'd been so deliberate about that. Mm. And um, yeah. Uh, for somebody like me who wants to do everything, mm. absolutely everything, mm. and learn everything, there's really, I feel like, a, a deep lesson in committing to the things that, mm. 
yeah. that that you really want to get good at, and mm. you know, and and letting some of the things maybe. Yeah, you know, I think it kind of remind, reminds me about how, like, if you're a sculptor, you got to get rid of all that material. You have to decide what you're going to remove from the space to make mm. something beautiful. I think it's something clarifying in in realizing that you do have to. There is spoil and there is removal to, mm. to to get there. I think that helps me, anyways. But also, I, I kind of have a sort of private, deep-held philosophy that we kind of experience our reality, and and we don't remember not being alive, and we don't remember being dead, and so we actually live in an infinite experience. Mm. So, so that's kind of that's kind of cool to think of it like that, which contradicts the whole premise of the song but i don't know i can be a hypocrite can't i <laughs> <laughs> now let's all hold hands <laughs> time is nothing <laughs> it's finite and infinite yeah oh. we're running out of time aren't we? So we're <laughs> Um, speaking of time, uh, how old is this, this, this guitar? This is 1935, same age as, well, about the same age as my dad, who, okay. who turned 90 now. Wow. So, it's an old piece of work, and wow. um, it doesn't see the road at the moment, but it's, um, and it doesn't even see me that, that much. I've been sort of dedicating myself to drums mm -hmm. for the last little while. Mm. But this is a good boost, thank you. I really, mm. really mm. appreciate the chance to mm. dust it off. Yeah. Folks who uh, know my songs might know a song called Pass It Along, and this, in fact, uh, was the guitar Dave, mm. Dave was talking about mm. when, he gave me the, when he gave me the kernel. South Country Fair. Yeah, South Country yeah, Fair. Southern yeah, Southern Alberta. Yeah. And, and I was like, oh, there's a song in that, and he was like, you can have that. <laughs> <laughs> It's Thanks for that, brother. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, right. love you. All right, uh, how do they find you? Uh, Bandcamp or Instagram. Yeah, Bandcamp. David Ross MacDonald. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bring up our last guest, uh, but before we do, I'll just uh, I'll just check and make sure nobody's telling us that it doesn't that it doesn't work. Everybody says it's good. Okay, sweet. Wow. There's Girl Friday. She's already down in Hobart. Whoa, there's folks in Brainerd, Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, man. And uh, my friend Steve George tuning in from Taiwan, who said the entire island of Taiwan shook for the start of your show. I'm sure hoping for the best. Wow, we are too. Gosh. Um, all right, uh, our next guest will be no uh, will be familiar to longtime viewers of our uh, of our Indorables broadcasts because uh, she tuned into our house way back in the early days of the pandemic. You're welcome to sit down whenever you want. <laughs> Please welcome the amazing Melanie Horsnell from just over there. <laughs> Two blocks down. <laughs> two doors down, huh? There you go. Yeah, she's coming to you from two doors down, and here she is right now. That was so cool when in the winter we had you on our on our holiday show and like it was it was freezing cold in Edmonton and and, and it was bright and sunshiny in your house and the chooks were were uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> so cool to have a window into the outside world back then. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us on this. We had the opportunity to, to, to do a show together just the other day in Cobargo. Melanie came and sang us a song, and, uh, and she's going to sing us one now. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I guess I was rolling off Robin's love song. And uh, so I went here and um, I'll just play it. When you sit beside me, when you lean in close, when you whisper softly, I should hold on.
You're my daily angel You're my closest friend You're the sweet reminder For and where I've been Sitting by the dam And we're throwing stones Darling, I'm so grateful That you are my own The night is quiet, so you lean in close. I can smell your skin like it is my own. As the moon is sinking, Milky Way above, darling, I'm so How do people find you? MelanieHorsnell dot MelanieHorsnell.com.au Okay, okay. <laughs> Melanie. Because my MelanieHorsnell.com got stolen by somebody. Really? Evil. Really? Yeah, yeah, there's someone else. Hackers. hackers. The hackers hacked me. Really? Yeah, so. Oh. So now I'm dot .com.au. So now you know I'm Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, like, they didn't start doing impersonating you or anything did they no there wasn't like some other melanie Horsell. oh okay just, just now it's a lonely page oh okay <laughs> uh, this weekend at the national folk fest tim woods oh yeah you sang this song about the two geordie lanes oh yeah really? i didn't know that there are you oh know? yeah <laughs> one geordie lane with a y and then oh, yeah. the other geordie lane anyway yeah yeah, it sucks for that Geordie Lane with a Y. Yeah. <laughs> There's another Scott Cook out of Montreal. If you're watching Scott Cook, <laughs> get a middle name or something. Yeah. <laughs> or Scotty Cook. Add, he needs a Y. Yeah, Scotty yeah. He could way. take that Y. Yeah. Or Scott Cookie, either way. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, he could be Reb, <laughs> Reb, Reb Scott Cook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, how long have you been living in Candelow? Well, um, Harmony is 13 now, and I moved when she was six weeks old. So it must be, it's March now, so this is 13 years. Yeah, yeah. wow. 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 And okay, and they, yeah, they've, this is the only place they've known that y yeah, your yeah. two kiddos. Yeah, how many yeah. knew, Gypsy knew a little bit of Sydney, but yeah, yeah. how many? Yeah, yeah. wow, it's their whole home. Wow, yeah, wow, it's a, it's a beautiful place in the world to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, and anything happening with you uh, in the, musically? I, I got a new single coming out on the April the 19th um, called As the Trees Have Always Known. So it's a love song to trees. Mm. Yeah, it mightn't sound like a love song to trees, but it, like everybody thinks it's a person, but it's not. It's just curly-headed, beautiful trees that I was in love with, and I wrote a song for them. <laughs> and it's got like um, lots of sprinkles on it, including a beautiful fiddle player that I adore, um, Colin McEnoma, who's an Irish mm. fiddle player from the Frame. So, uh -huh. so yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> sweet. Okay, <laughs> that's her name right there. Um, follow her on, uh, on on all the streaming platforms and all the places and uh, yeah you'll hear that new single when it when it lands thank you Melanie um, we'll sing you one last song and, 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 and get out of here I think we should probably after we sing it we should probably just take him outside and show him our van huh? oh, yeah. yeah just for a little look Hecta our new Australian van yes uh, for those of you who haven't heard we've become Australian homeowners 
um, about two weeks ago. Um, bought our friends uh, from a great band called This Way North and also uh, Feather and Drum Hatters in Yak and Danda. Um, we bought their old tour van and uh, it's got 375,000 kilometers on the clock. Sturdy. But so far oh, it's oh, running well, yeah. yeah. Midlife. I mean, it yeah. didn't get those 375,000 kilometers by not driving, so <laughs> it's still it's doing it. Um, <laughs> uh, many of you will know, in fact, I've already seen some of my Patreon supporters on here, um, but uh, if you don't know, I've been writing a song a month for Patreon.com. Uh, 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 for my page on there, there are 188 souls on board now, maybe 13 new ones signed up at the wow. National Folk Fest, which was great. Um, welcome aboard, if any of you are watching now. Um, it's been just a real joy to have a reason to write a song every month. And uh, yeah, like like we were saying earlier, you know, you can do anything, but you can't do everything. Um, part of that is like, I can't do, I can't do all the social media that I, I might believe I ought to do. I can't do all the, you know, there's a whole, there's a whole raft of other things that I could be doing for my job, uh, but, but writing songs is one that I want to prioritize, and that means pushing other things away, and that's, and that's a good thing, you know. Um, so it's been great to have this incentive and, uh, and, you know, just people that I don't want to let down um, every month. And uh, this, is, uh, this, this is last month's song. Um, we went before the National Folk Fest, we went and parked up at Clack Clack, uh, which is right close to the Nariel Creek uh, festival site. Nariel Creek is the oldest folk fest in Australia. It has very little in the way of a show. People mostly just come and camp out and hang out for usually a week or two. Some people go there for a month and just park. It's $5 a day for camping. Um, and they have a little sh blackboard show, like an open mic show on the festival green on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and a dance on the green those nights. And, uh, and otherwise, it's mostly just about jams and, uh, and whatever people get up to. And um, yeah, really beautiful place. Anyway, we pulled in uh, to park on the creek, and Pamela said, why don't you write the Nariel Creek Waltz? And that just felt like an idea that could just go ahead and write itself. So. One of the uh, one of the other things that that we were told when you know how many different directions can I go with this? The one direction I want to go is first of all just to say, wow, thank you to everybody who just came up and shared <laughs> shared their music and and poetry and you know while we were on that land and on that river and Scott writing this song which you'll hear um, and hearing and learning about the place that we are at, um, the people who have been here for thousands of years and those who are carrying on their stories and educating folks like us, like myself. Um, it's just, it's very humbling uh, to be in such a beautiful place and, and one that has so many different stories. Um, and uh, one of the stories that we heard about that Nariel Creek spot was that there has mm. been a gathering place there for thousands of years. It's not really my story to tell because I don't know the exact details, but the thing that I took away from it is that there are these interesting formations of rock that's behind the Nariel Creek site, mm. or in, at some place anyhow, that um, was used as uh, for keeping the fires, keeping the fires lit. Mm. Um, and gathering, attracting the bogong moth, right? Mm -hmm. Like they, yeah. they would come, various tribes would mm -hmm. join together there, meet together there at the time of year when the bogong moth is coming through and, yeah. and feast and... And it, yeah. it's an incredible space because it, it this this land kind of just pops out in the middle of farmland and it's just mm. kind of been protected as this place for people to continue to gather mm. um, as 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 a as a reserve a preserved land I suppose mm. uh, that the farmers around the area as well have maybe also given back some Native of that title, land yeah. to yeah. to title so. Yeah, lots of stories within mm. layered within that and talking with people about the writing of this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play it.
There's a place in the high plains up Corion Way. You can camp 35 bucks a week. Where the ferry wrens dance, and you can swim without pants in the slow running Nerial Creek. They've got black beer and road bowls and a big costume ball of strictly second hand op shop finds. And there's kiddos and seniors, tin whistles, concertinas, and an ever unwinding sense of time. In the 60s, some kids made their way up from Melbourne, old tunes and meaning to seek. In porch stories and wicker, the kerosene flicker and the music of Nerial Creek. So they planted some trees to ring a festival green. And bush ballads and dances they collected And it's the oldest here I'm told But what counts as old Ain't it mostly a matter of perspective Cause these poplars and polkas That came here by boat To take root in this foreign terrain are so much younger than the song lines which are younger than the dream time that's still younger than the old milky way and while we're here living we make up traditions to gather make music and speak and it keeps up the art and it warms up the hearts and souls camped along Nerial Creek. So they play for the dancers arrayed on the green and the pickers and fiddlers long past the old tunes ringing clear We're turning the year Neath the light bulb strung over the grass And I've roamed far and wide As this old earth is round Seen vistas that made my knees weak Ah, but nothing to stir you Like a laughing kookaburra in the moonlight on Nerial Creek In the moonlight on Nerial Creek <laughs> We heard one pretty, pretty nice and loud last night from our Yeah, cabin. we sure did. That's Pamela May! Hi everyone! Hey! <laughs> That's Rochelle Kennedy. That's David Ross McDonald. <laughs> That's Melanie Horse now. <laughs> That's Robin Martin. <laughs> this is our tour van Hector right here. New friend. Long may you run, buddy. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in and uh, hope to see you same time, same place. <laughs>
talking like the world's a big old tangle of souls. So I set out for the shimmering distance, not dressed for the wind and rain. Unaware that any blessing worth having comes with a burden of pain. Sweet tangle of souls. The way it wound through towns and tenements, through deserts and dirty streets. I struggled to hear a kindred heart in the chorus of concrete. But by happenstance, I chanced upon the ones I needed to meet. Such a rare thread in this vast tangle of souls. Tangle of souls. It's a fleeting incarnation. It's a gift that you can't keep. Stardust with a will to live is all there is to me. Every atom's borrowed and every heart's a refugee. Just looking for home in this strange tangle of souls. A clockwork running down. Some talk like it's a tournament where the coolest gets the crown. Seems to me it's a pilgrimage in every step's hallowed ground. A walk through fire in a holy tangle of souls. My brain boggles at the distance that brought this song to you. Through. 